This is what is pretty awesome about the Pites V10. First off, they're using name brand Amphenol connectors, which most of the batteries on the market don't use. They use something cheaper from overseas. Amphenol has been an American brand for a long time. So, you know, to get these put into these batteries takes some actual effort. This uh, compartment here where the circuit breaker goes, it has a nice O-ring seal, so it's super weatherproof. They have the shunt trip breaker for safety. When we get inside though, that's where it's a whole different level. So there are uh, about 18 screws around the outside that screw the top on. It has a really nice uh, gasket here on the inside. So that keeps any moisture out. There's a pressure vent up here. It's got like a spring loaded mechanism on there. If there's any expansion of the air inside, this lets it out. Since it's spring loaded, it doesn't let anything else come back in. Then we get to the actual like build quality of the battery. And the first thing I noticed when I opened up is right in here, there's an absolutely massive fuse that is rated for 500 volts and 500 amps. And that is going to make sure, you know, if anything like the worst of the worst happens, it's protecting the whole battery and it's not gonna fail in the process of protecting. From there, like these bus bars that hold everything together, they're like super sturdy, super thick, like way overkill for what they need to be. Um, there's a real shunt resistor right here. That's what measures the battery's state of charge. And we have the BMS down here at the bottom. This is the part that turns on and off the output power. And the way they mounted that, it's like halfway outside of the battery. There's a, a heat sink back there. So the heat actually escapes the case. That's a smart thing they did most bms manufacturers just let the heat build up inside the battery and they hope the battery goes dead before the heat becomes a problem so i would say like if you're doing a lot of fast discharge and charge cycles this can handle that then if i unplug these balance wires we get into the actual cells themselves. I've seen batteries before where like this top plastic piece is glued on or like the plastic is welded together, that kind of thing. But they actually put little snaps in here. So it's really easy to take this off and put it back on, right? Like if this was permanently welded, we would have just ruined it. But we can actually take it off here. Everything about this says they're trying to get the longest lifespan out of the battery compared to anything else on the market. That's the Pites V10.